All right, start off the right way. Look at what the question wants. It's not about the bullet points, it's about the question. The student wants to emphasize the decline in unique apple varieties in the U.S. and specify why this decline occurred. So let's simplify that. Emphasize the decline and why it occurred. Okay, so let's see if we get anything just from the um, bullet points here. In the late 1890s, over 14,000 unique varieties of apples were grown in the U.S. The rise of industrial agriculture in the mid-1900s narrowed the range of commercially grown crops. So maybe that's emphasizing the decline, but it's not saying why it happened. I, oh, maybe it is. The rise of industrial agriculture? Maybe, maybe. Thousands of apple varieties considered less suitable for commercial growth were lost, so it has to do with the commercial growth, maybe. Today, only 15 apple varieties dominate the market, making up 90% of apples purchased in the U.S., Okay, again, it's describing a decline, but it's not saying why it happened. The Lost Apple Project, based in Washington State, attempted to find and grow lost apple varieties. I doubt that bullet point is going to matter because it's not explaining the decline. It's just saying what we're doing about it. So now let's look at the choices. We want to hit this specific idea. W emphasize the decline. Why did it happen? A, the Lost Apple Project is dedicated to finding some of the apple varieties lost following a shift in agricultural practices in the mid-1900s. Maybe this is like very vaguely describing why it happened. There was a, a shift in agricultural practices, but I don't know. That seems very vague. Ugh, this this seems wrong to me, but let's see. While over 14,000 apple varieties were grown in the U.S. in the late 1890s, only 15 unique varieties make up most of the apples sold today. This is definitely wrong because it doesn't say why. It just says there is a decline. It does not say why it happened. C. Since the rise of industrial agriculture, U.S. farmers have mainly grown the same few unique apple varieties, resulting in the loss of thousands of varieties less suitable for commercial growth. So it's not as direct as I would like, but it's hitting a lot of the things that I saw in those bullet points, right? The, the commercial growth idea. Why is it happening? Well, because of the farmers. They're making a choice. So this, this might be right. Um, the same few varieties, loss of thousands of varieties. So it's hitting, it's emphasizing the decline. Um, it's not using numbers, but that's okay. Um, but it is saying why it happened. I think C is better than A. Let's look at D. As industrial agriculture rose to prominence in the mid-1900s, the number of crops selected for cult... Okay, this isn't even about apples. So that's definitely wrong. So it's, it's C. I, I get why some of you might pick A, maybe because it's shorter and because it mentions that lost... Apple project, which you're like, oh, well, it said it in the bullet points, so I, I need to mention it here. But no, this is why we really start with the question. You have to be comfortable on these outline uh, type of questions that there are going to be things that you don't use in the answer choice. Even if you think it's interesting or important, it doesn't matter. No one cares what you think. The, the question is telling you what to give them. You have to give them that. So the Apple project is great, I guess, good for them, but like, I don't care for the purposes of this question, so don't be afraid of leaving information behind in the bullet points. Like, it might not matter. C is way more descriptive about why it's happening. It's emphasizing it by saying loss of thousands, right? It's not necessarily using numbers, but it, it's still conveying the ideas, and, and that's what's most important. So I think this is probably a trap. Hopefully, if you fell for it, you understand now what your task is on these questions so you don't fall for a similar problem in the future.